<laughs> oh, what a welcome. Holy shit. Where's... Uh, hold on. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. There we go. Hi, guys. Welcome back to another coffee stream with me. Um, I'm sorry that I had to skip yesterday's stream, but uh, unfortunately... You know, I couldn't log in at all and I tried for like 20 minutes and I simply just gave up at last. I, di I didn't even want to like touch it anymore. I was like, okay, you know what? I'm not really in the mood anymore, so let's let's do this tomorrow instead. So that's what I did. So welcome back to uh, this coffee stream. Rob Pollard, thank you so much for the follow. Nice to see you, man. Hi, Refly. Hi, Kev. Happy New Year's. Welcome to the stream of 2023. So, um... Yeah, I don't have a lot to say. Um, if I should start anything out here, I've had a uh, terrible night of sleep. Uh, it's been quite rough. Aura has some fever once again. I, I don't know what's going on, but uh, apparently she just catches this fever all the time. So um, she's not really sleeping at this mo at the moment. So I went to sleep uh, 8 o'clock this morning and um, I woke up 3 o'clock this afternoon, uh, which is <laughs> so so like different from what i usually do but uh, that's how it is hope you had a good new year's man thank you so much i did i was at work it was great great work man it was fun but yeah anyways welcome back to the coffee stream and welcome to a new year this is the first episode of 2023 so i'm very excited i hope to hear a lot of new cool music uh i'm i'm getting ready for it here so uh i already see we have the first demo coming through which is uh great so uh how about we just get started and we can just chit chat. I hope you guys had a great New Year's as well. Um, so the first one of today is from Rob Polar. And um, he says, cool, I got a new project for you to listen to. No particular backstory, just started working on it a few days ago. So I hope to get this one finished as soon as my next release since August 2022. Feedback is greatly appreciated at this point as is it, it is still far uh, fairly unfinished this is safe and sound id from rob polat leave your feedback in the comments and let's go i have one thing i'm sorry for just stopping here i feel like that break uh where you put in the impact sound where you have like three seconds of silence honestly i feel like it's irrelevant uh, you can try removing it and just like progress it directly from that but yeah test it out and see where things goes but so far it sounds really nice i like it I uh, very much enjoy the drop here, the first trigger there. It's it's all right. I actually uh, I actually think you did a really nice job on on everything on the arrangement. The impact there feels a little bit off, and then when the drop comes through, I'm expecting this huge ass drop that's like really rumply and and bassy, but it's it's like it's lacking that low end. The kick is in a really really nice position. I very much overall enjoyed the drum work. Overall enjoyed everything else but the bass, not necessarily the sound, but the amount of sub bass. So add some more sub to it, uh, give it some more warm low end and I think you're good to go man, this is really nice. Your high end, your treble amount and the work you've done overall in the mixing process of your high ends on, uh, on this sound is really great. It sounds really good to listen to here, so overall great job, just needs a little bit more sub. Thank you so much for sending this one over. We'll take that on board for sure. Thanks, broski. I got you, man. Thank you so much for sending that one over. That was nice. We have one from Koss. The first one from Koss in 2023. Do Koss have any uh, comments on this one? Any story to it? Anything in particular we need to know? Any inspiration? It's a revision from last time. Added a break to it. Great. Exciting. Okay, cool. So let's check out Koss's track. This is... A revision of his new song, 1910-22. Uh, let's check it out. If you guys have any feedback in the chat, let him know. I will leave my feedback as well. Let's go. I think if I should come with any feedback at this point, I feel like that flute is a little bit off from the other sounds. Maybe you can try it using like a really detuned synth to like do the same thing. Something like that. Maybe, maybe keep it in the same direction of the other sounds because I, I just feel like this sound is a little bit off. The do 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 do. Oh, just an idea, okay? For this part here, like you can try to do a tremolo effect for that sub. I don't know, I don't know how, like, if you can do it, but I think you can use a tremolator on it so you can give it that tremolo effect. I think that could sound really dope. Just to like give some, some different to that sub bass. You have now reached your destination. 
Oh, thank you so much. No, this was really cool, man. Such a such a wild and such a different track. It sounds like you've had a good hand on the uh, on the bite on the sub that we needed last week. Overall, that, that dun, 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 this this chord step it feels a little bit thin. Um, so maybe maybe add a little bit of low mids to it, not too much, but just like to give it that extra roundiness in the mid range. It's it just sounds like it could use it. Overall, I don't actually have too much feedback for it. I I, I just think it's more like ideas because I think it's such a cool track. So uh, a tremolo, tremolo effect on that sub bass for that specific part, I think, could do some really nice work in the no in the low end. A weird track once again, but such a cool track. I really enjoyed this one. That was really cool. It's it's just cool and weird. <laughs> I very much enjoyed this one, man. Thank you so much for sending that one over. If you guys have any demos, feel free to send them in the Discord. I just got the notification that I went live. Why is it 15 minutes late? Me6, you are too late, my friend. Oh yeah, by the way, I totally forgot. Cheers and coffee. Goddamn. And yes, it is actually coffee today. I can drink coffee now. Finally. Oh yeah, by the way, I didn't even tell you guys this. I just realized that um, my coffee stream from last week, it has been blocked specific pl uh, places in the world due to remixes. <laughs> because there's something in there that has been remixed. So either I have to scratch all songs or details from whatever has been sent over when I do the YouTube cuts, or we have to figure a solution on receiving no remixes. Copyright sucks. Yeah, well, to a certain point, I just feel it, it it just feels weird that you have to block like the social media sharing from it. It would be better if it was less just like hey, the actual amount of money that they are gaining from watching that video should just be directed directly to the artists instead. I mean, if somebody monetizes it on YouTube, sent the money that the actual owner of the YouTube channel the part of the song, whatever, should receive, give it to the song. Give it to the, the, the people via... Yeah, right. I remixed one of my friend's coming songs. Alright, great. Let's test that out. So this is 211119. It's a mix 2 version 3 C and S remix. So if you guys have any feedback for Kev or Cause, let them know in the chat. Let's check it out and hopefully we will not get destroyed by copyright from this one 21 11 19 mix 2 v3 c and s remix from cause let's go the production of this one is really dope i uh, really enjoyed listening through it and also just crazy weird sounds once again you're using um i feel i feel like the bass line is taking up a lot of frequencies of where the the vocalist should sit and i also feel like the vocals are a little bit too low i think you can push them like two or three decibels more I think there's something in the in the EQ that I, that's like disturbing me, but it's really weird because the bass line is taking over that vocal. The vocals sound a little bit too thin, but I think I think it's because the bass is, is uh, the bass line is overlapping the vocal at that point that I actually want to use the vocal. If you get me, so maybe remove like a little bit of the the low mids and upwards from from the bass. I know it sounds weird, but. I think it's because that part of the bass line is already so dominating, so it takes over like the sound of that vocal. I haven't processed it yet, just added a bit of compression and OTT. Alright. Maybe the OTT is creating that thin sound to it that I feel. I, th I think that might be it. Maybe uh, be careful with the OTT on the vocal, because I think that's what's giving that twisted, thin sounding. But definitely try to remove some of the, like, everything from like the mid-range and upwards from the bass line, and then like, take really care around the 2800 hertz and, and 3000 hertz or in between 2000 and, and three and a half thousand actually because it's it's like that area the vocal is so something in that area and they just you know scoot a little bit down on that from the bass yeah i was thinking of adding some side chain with the multi-pack compressor to let the vocal get through that's a nice idea as well you could do that definitely i think that's smart because at this point it just feels like it's really it's really overlapping that vocal and and that's really uh, <laughs> and I got to be honest I like when I realized this song was Danish that was like 50 seconds into it I realized oh shit this is actually a Danish song because I didn't understand anything of what he said that's that's kind of where I'm I'm heading I'm looking to get get that clarity from the vocal uh by definitely removing some from the from the bass but also making sure that you use more frequencies on the vocal so that's that's definitely uh, a thing I would look into 
but such a cool track and also nice to hear that actual uh, track you sent earlier being used in, in this occasion because that's really nice. It suits it very well. And cool vocals, I like that. Am I all wrong? But in the coffee streams Tuesday, yes, but I had to postpone it yesterday due to not being able to log in on Twitch. So this is Cos 23-12-22. If you guys have any feedback for him, let him know in the chat. I will leave my feedback as well. Let's check it out. Overall, the idea is cool. It has a really rumbly and evil um, low end, but I just feel like it needs a little bit more like of a vocalist on top, I think. I think a vocalist could up this one a lot uh, because it sounds like a track that's made for somebody to rap or sing on top of. It actually, it kind of reminds me of like living in the underground, like living in the sewers, like that dirty area and stuff like that. It's, it's just, and it's really hard to explain, but I think it reminds me more of like, if, if you've watched the League of Legends series, like the underground characters and how they live in that a little bit evil area with like a poison and toxic everywhere and like mutated animals and stuff like that. It kind of gives me that vibe, but in a cool way. I think by adding like a lot of, of attention to that effect and creating that entire room, I think you give it you can give it a really cool uh, like atmosphere overall. You haven't seen it, you should check it out. It's really good. Once again, it's just different. It's so cool. Well done, man. Good job. I like that. That's uh that's a cool direction you're heading there. Just excited to hear where uh, things goes afterwards. The drop reminds me of something that could be featured in Wipeout if you have played those games. Uh, I haven't actually. The card game? Wipeout? Yeah, futuristic racing games. I've never actually played it. I do have it on Steam, but I haven't actually touched it. Touched it. Looking while playing Team T, still here though. Sounds like the mini music from Hyperscape. All right, Hyperscape. Holy shit, that's been a long time. <music> Gonna leave in a few minutes for some exam preparation. All good, man. I mean. If there's no more demos, I think I'm gonna skip this for uh, for here then, as well at nine o'clock, I believe. Could be cool to hear where you're going with this track next time. Let's see if I keep working on it. I think uh, for now, I'll see where it goes, and then uh, if it inspires me, I I might even have something to show you later on. It's all good. Oh, this is too rumble. See. God damn it, Discord. Oh. See you next time, man. Yeah, see you. Nice to see you today. Glad you were here. Hopefully, next week I will be back at the right time Tuesday. See you, man, and thank you for joining the coffee stream of today. Yeah, I'm also gonna quit the coffee stream for tonight. Thank you so much for joining the coffee stream from tonight. I hope you guys had a great time. Even though the stream was postponed one day, I still believe that the Tuesdays are the best days. So I hope to see you guys next Tuesday for my next coffee stream. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much for the follow, Gorilla. I appreciate it. And see you guys next week. Adios. <laughs>